Crash Team Herd, welcome back to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Today, we are taking a look at one part of the dynamic duo, it is Chick from, of course, like I said, Chicken Stew. Uh, very, very cool to see him in the game. Of course, he is the announcer with Stew in the Grand Prix uh, showcase videos. Always cool to see him finally in the game. And as you can see, his classic is going to be balanced. So we're gonna be doing a cup with this. I don't even remember which cup I chose. It was sort of random, but we're gonna go to it and see how things go. Okay, so we're playing his chick here. I love how he holds his microphone the whole time. I thought he was gonna say something. I think he did. <laughs> he just decided to wait a moment. But anyways, yeah, it's so cool to be playing as both chick and then the next episode we'll be playing Stu. <laughs> yeah, he's already announcing like what he's doing. He's taking over the competition. All right, well, very, very cool. Of course, with Chicken Stew, they always had a interesting dynamic. Chick was always sort of the cool play-by-play -play commentator while Stu was sort of adding the extra bit of personality, extra bit of spice. They, they make a good combo for, for sure. If you don't know where they came from, they originally were announcers in Crash Tag Team Racing, which I released after Crash Nitro Car. I've never really played it too much myself. I've heard it's not the best game, but it does have a cool story, and as you can see, some cool characters. Pasadena Fox is from the same game. Not Pasadena Fox, what am I talking about? Pasadena Opossum. I don't know why I thought she was a fox. <laughs> That's not right. Um, anyways, let's keep going. Whoa, watch out for the train. Yeah, my balance character control type seems to be doing okay. I did choose the hard difficulty, because we were so far ahead of them as hasty last episode, that I just wanted to do something a bit more challenging, and so far, I think it's working out quite well. <laughs> Beautiful view! All right, well, I do definitely like Chick. I don't know which one I like better, Chick or Stu. I think I like them both equally. I just love the fact that he's holding onto his microphone while he drives. It's pretty impressive, you know? He might be an announcer, but he knows how to get on the track and race with the best of them. One-handed, or one-winged, I suppose. There we go. I was hoping that they'd eventually be added to the game, but I never really knew if it was gonna happen or not. Also, for the color scheme, I tried to choose a light blue that sort of mixes well with his suit. I think I did an okay job. I wish there was a blue with green pipes. There might be, and I just don't have it unlocked, but from what I saw, I don't think I had one, um, because that would ma mix with his uh, green bow tie pretty well. You know what? I'm happy with what we got. Okay, final lap coming up, and we're decently far ahead of everybody, as long as I don't make any crazy mistakes, or we should be fine. Okay, gotta be careful with the train, but it's not really in that much of a precarious spot, so we are fine. Can't believe so far I've been able to complete this race with uh, out running into the train a single time. Usually it happens at least once. I don't know how super excellent we'll be able to do just because it's a balanced character type. It's not really the best in my opinion, but it should be passable at least for going against the computers. Once we go online, I might change it up a little bit. But I definitely wanna see what different costumes both chickens do have. I don't know if they have any legendaries. I couldn't really think off the top of my head any kind of legendaries that would fit with them, because not every character, ow, has legendary costumes. I know there's a couple that just don't. Definitely more of the recent ones don't have many, if at all. And boom, got it. This old chick still got some metal in him. He's got some metal in him. All right, well there's our first one done. We have unlocked a new skin, it is the seagull chick. All right, get six points for, for winning that race, and we're good to move to the next one in the cup. Oh, we're playing on Tiny Temple, one of my favorites. There we go. Watching the feathers. Okay, watch it, ow, that is not good. Yikes, okay, back to seventh place. As soon as we start hitting the blue boost, so hopefully things will pick up a little bit there. But right now we are in dead last, not good. Oh, I got Aku, Aku, I'm going to save this for now. I'm gonna save until I really need it, which should be around the time that hopefully we get the blue boost, and I'll be able to carry forward with lots of speed. That'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun to uh, get our nice item from last place and bring it to first place and then use it. There we go, use the shortcut. The shortcut's not the most helpful shortcut in the game, but it gives a little bit of speed, and that's always good. All right, so right about now I think would be good, and then we can just start moving. Because usually the biggest issue with keeping the blue boost around here, like sometimes it's running into the walls in some spots of it, but it's mostly the problem of, oh no, okay, watch it. 
I don't know, the flames here are a problem, and because of that I hit the wall. If it wasn't for the flames, it's usually the items on the track that you end up running into before you'd run into a wall. Not too bad though. This is why it's one of my favorite tracks. So they're right behind me, but this time I have another form of protection with the shield, and this one will last the whole time, as long as I don't get hit. So, let's see how that goes. There we go. Okay, so we just gotta get moving now, and we should be able to get way out of the competition. I almost ran into that wall, would've been embarrassing after saying, what was that? What? What was that about? Oh, come on. I'm doing so well and it just wants to ruin it. I think Papu Papu had the blue boost for a while there too, because he's really not that far behind me. Oh, I thought I hit it so that that wouldn't happen, but I guess it still happened. All right, gotta be careful here because Papu is not too far behind me. Oh man. Oh, he got ahead, wow, he got ahead of me and he hit me with a potion. Dude, if he beats me here, oh, I'm gonna be so upset. Because it would have been all my own doing. Okay, I got Naku Aku in second place, but there's it's too late. Wow, I can't believe it, he got me. That is ridiculous. I mean, it's hard mode for a reason, that's for sure. Let's move to the next race. Okay, so, let's get to it. As you guys know, this is not my favorite track. I typically don't do well in it, but will we be able to win against hard mode enemies? I would hope so. Because honestly, last track, I would have never thought I wasn't gonna win that one, but I didn't win it, so now I'm like trying to be super duper on top of things. Oh no, oh no. Come on. There we go. Oh, he got hit by something there. <laughs> That's not good. That's why this track is so tough. Come on. So, so far I got the lead, but I had the lead last time, didn't I? Oh, don't get hit by that. Okay, thank you for not getting hit by it, but can we survive even more? I couldn't keep the blue boost there. It's just such a technical track in a lot of ways. I really need to be good at pulling off some tight turns, some difficult little por portions of the track, really mess up the rest of it. Like, not in a bad way, it's just, it's not an easy track is all. I feel like it's probably up there in the like top three most difficult tracks in the game. That's an interesting topic though. Like, what are the most ouch difficult tracks in this game? That was just awful. Oh no, and he's back at no, that's not even uh Papu, that's Entropy. Come on, come on, come on. Ready? Go for it. Oh, and I got him! Nice! Okay. Let's keep <laughs> Did he just say the chickens can fly? Or at least that this chicken can. Well, good on you, Stu. I I mean, I know chick, sorry. Uh, but I just I love him so much, he's just He's just got that pizzazz to him, you know? There we go. But since I haven't asked you guys yet, what are your thoughts on Chick here in Crash Team Racing Nitro Field? Do you think they've done them justice throughout these Grand Prix being the announcers and everything? I think so. I mean, I think they're the original voice actors. I might be wrong, but I do know, you know like a weird little fun fact about Chick here, or maybe it's Stu, no, I think it's Chick. Um, he has the same voice actor as Sonic the Hedgehog. That's pretty cool. Oh no. But Papu Papu, I thought was ahead of me there for a second, but not anymore. Somebody definitely got ahead of me for a moment, but I don't know where they went. Anyways, let's just make the most of that. Put that potion there. We're almost there. Just gotta keep going. So we just gotta loop around this part right about here. Be careful of the potion. Oh. All right, well there we go, we got it. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I was like worried right up until the end. It's like, you never know, you might get hit by an item at the end. But there we go, Entropy was right behind me. But beyond that, he didn't get too many good finishes in the other races, because he only had seven points there. So that was, that was a little weird. Okay, so let's try this out on whatever this track is called. Did he say holy hen? 
I guess so. <laughs> That's a little bit of a weird one. Alright. We're ahead. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it! Oh no! Missile is going for me. Hazard on the track. Hazard on the track. I love how he's announcing it as if he's just, you know, announcing a play-by-play -play for the race. I would love to hear that a bit more. Because, you know, we hear him announce the, uh... You know, the Grand Prix thing. He's cock -doo. <laughs> Well, he is a chicken. Um, but I would love to hear him play, like, announce. Like, imagine if they ever actually had, like, a Crash Team Racing, like, eSports tournament and they actually got the, the chick voice actor and Sue to like commentate it. That would be so cool. Even if just for like one race, like Crash goes around the corner, he takes the lead, oh, gets hit by a missile. It's all over. That'd be so cool. I mean, obviously Crash Team Racing is the type of game that moves quite fast, so it'd be hard to do that, but it would still be a really fun experience just to see that something like that. I don't know. Whoop. There we go. But yeah, I feel like they're an excellent addition to finish off the year. It's been a fantastic year with Crash Team Racing. You know, it came out in like, what, June? I think, time has flown by. And since then, of course, we've had about five or six Grand Prix, and each one of them has seemingly been, been better than the last with new characters, all of them being totally just like fan service, highly requested stuff. And I don't know how they can beat this Grand Prix, you know? Because it had not three, which is the usual, but five characters. Most of which, did we just slap Papu Papu? The guy who was beating us the first race, or the second race, whatever it was? Weird. Isn't it weird how that works? <laughs> you would think it would be a bit more balanced, but I guess not. Anyways, that is gonna be this race done, and with it, yes he does, we are going to be done with this uh, cup. We're gonna go ahead and see Chick's victory dance. So he's pretty, uh. He's conservative, I guess. He's just waving. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, some people, they go crazy when they win. Not so much Chick. He plays it nice and cool. All right. So let's go online with Chick Gizzard Lips. It's interesting that he has a last name. I don't know if Stu has a last name. Because he's always like, I'm Chick Gizzard Lips. And it's just, I'm Stu. But it's, I don't really know if they ever confirm his last name. Anyways, we're gonna customize a uh, chick here. Well, the first thing I gotta do is I gotta change this to Drift, because this is my favorite character type. So I wanna confirm, did that get confirmed? It did get confirmed, okay. So I wanna choose chick and see his different costumes here. We got the seagull chick unlocked. We also have the pigeon chick, which is just not loading, and the toucan chick. I would love to see these, but I need to select this before it's like too late. All right, and then for the carts, let's just do anything that's gonna give us bonus percentage to any degree. Um, is there anything that will give me 10%? There's not, this is brand new. All right, and then for the stickers, quickly go, 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 go. Ah, oh, ran out of time. At least it's something, right? As we go into the Spyro Circuit for our first race online today, hopefully it goes well. All right, Spyro Circuit, I love this track. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Whenever you're ready. So hopefully we're able to get some good, oh man, I got it. I got some good results in today's online portion of the episode, because we did with Hasty, we got two firsts and two seconds. So hoping to get something similar. I sort of fell behind there on that corner. But you know what? Oh, that was unfortunate. I was gonna say, you know what? Maybe they'll get hit and I won't, but I got hit and they did not. Oh, come on, that's baloney. This is not going well, but you know what? It just makes for an even better comeback story. Okay. Yeah, there's no blue boost on this track, I don't believe, so it's all just pure drifting and racing, as if blue boost would remove that to some degree. It doesn't. But they are really far ahead. I like how both first and second place are two versions of Spyro. Yes, okay. I definitely need more gems instead of Wump of Fruit. I don't have any right now. Nice, oh, but I missed that. We are zooming through this now. If we keep up with this speed, we might be fine. Oh no. I always run into it though. I'm trying so hard to avoid it. Maybe I should just not care. I should just go through it as fast as I can and see how lucky I get because the more I try to avoid it, the more it just seems to get me. Darn. Okay, can we at least catch up the second? I'm not quite sure because Dark Spyro is pretty far ahead. Like he's about to enter on the third lap. 
And Ice Spyro is way ahead. There we go. Okay. So I'm up to 10 gems. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get the item. But I'm keeping up a little bit. At least they're not getting any farther ahead of me. I see him. I see him, I'm gonna catch him. Take the shortcut. Yeah, I did it. But will it be enough? I don't even have an item for this, but we are getting closer and closer and closer. Can we get him? Come on, beat this dragon. What do I get for an item? I took the lead. I get a rocket, so if he tries to get me. Oh man, what a takedown right at the end. Wow. He wasn't even half a second behind me either. That was intense. Like I was saying, just pure drifting action. So much fun when that happens. 44 second lap time really isn't that bad either. We really made the difference with that last lap, and that's why I love this game so much. All right, so second place finish for our first race online is pretty nice. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to burp to ruin the moment. But yeah, second place finish for this first race is really nice. Let's see if we can't continue that streak in the next one. Oh, we're doing hot air sky. Why I wasn't looking when the, when the, the lobby did the vote, but that's okay. Because now we're gonna race and see how well it goes. This is a longer track, so hopefully we can get a good lead and win and get some good coins for it. We'll have to wait and see. Nice. Overtaking the competition, let's keep it that way. And we did that last race, that was still so cool. I'm so happy about that. Anyways, let's keep going. But I did wanna talk a little bit more about this game in the new year. Like I've said, I'm really interested to see how they keep on topping themselves, if they are able to. Oh, I thought I was gonna make that. Man, so many people know how to utilize this track. We're all keeping up with the blue boost so far. But this corner is always the decider. And so far, it looks like the decision was, okay, it was in our favor until I made that pun and then I messed it up. Okay. There we go. Also, I did change the card up a little bit just so that I could get more of a bonus percentage. I wanted to change the card body, but I wasn't quite able to. I sort of messed that up, I hit the wall. Not good. But yeah, like I was saying before, one thing I do want them to continue to do, and this is what they've done, you know, so far, uh, is add more content to the game through, like, you know, we had the ring rally races mini game. I still need to work on more of that, but that was a lot of fun. And I know for the Halloween Grand Prix, they also, oh, come on. Okay, just fall so I can get another start at this, maybe. There we go. So I might not be able to get the best shortcut, but with this, I can hopefully catch back up. So far, so good. Oh, no! <laughs> You're kidding! Oh, that is the worst. Now we're way back in fifth place. Okay, got some TNT. I think this guy got hit by a potion. You can tell by the, uh, the dark clouds behind his wheels. Whoa, that almost got me. We can at least get back up to third. I know that for a fact, but I think first and second are a bit too far. Yeah, those guys are already a good chunk into the third lap. They are very close to each other too. So it looks like I caught up to the one person, but then this person, maybe that isn't. Okay, so it looks like they just have some special wheels. I thought it was because they hit a uh, potion, but I guess not. No! Oh, you stinker. You got me good. Okay, we need to make this last lap with this bit of blue boost really, really worth it. So I'm gonna keep on to this uh, speed boost because we can use this to play it a bit safer around this corner, I feel. If we can even finish the lap in time. There we go. But the tough part is, can I continue it even beyond that? No, I can't. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking tough when I haven't done it in a while, too. Like, oh man, why? Come on, stop it, who's getting me? Why do you gotta be like this? If I didn't drive off the stinking track, I'd be cruising in third place right now. Oh man, it keeps giving me speed boost to rub it, rub it in. <laughs> like, oh, you could've used this to continue your blue boost. Ah, oh, fifth place, you're kidding me. I just could not get a break there. 
All right, well, hopefully next race will go better, but I still get a lot of coins for it, so at least we got that going on, for sure. Okay, so I guess we're doing Prehistoric Playground. What's weird about this, Grampy, is I've seen very, very little online of uh, Gingerbread Joyride. You would think it'd happen a little more often. I did change my car body because this one, which is one of the Grand Prix ones, has a paint job that actually has 10% bonus nitro, so it should be even more helpful if we do run into anything uh, beneficial. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm good. Wasn't able to keep the blue boost, unfortunately, but at least I'm able to smack some other people out of the way, at least a little bit until I mess up my drift because that's just what I do. We gotta make sure this race goes a little better than last one, at least a little. Oh man, jumped right over that bomb. Okay, but yeah, what I was saying last round is that I would like to see online matchmaking be improved in 2020 for this game. I feel like it's its biggest hangout is that it just takes so long to find races online. Half the time, you're kidding me. But they have improved like connectivity as far as I've seen, and I feel like they've balanced the game a bit more since, oh my gosh, the beginning. I say that as I'm getting bombarded with items, but that might just be my own fault. Can you stop? <laughs> can, can you stop doing that, please? I was gonna race for a little bit, but I do think that it is a pain that it takes me like, you know, five minutes to find a race sometimes. And like, I'll, I'll find a race and then I'll, I'll, you know, I'll go into there and we'll race one race and then the lobby gets disbanded every single time. Um, and that just can be painful. And I think that what would be better for that would be to, instead of selecting one race for everybody to go on, is to select a full cup of just four races for that lobby to go and complete. I feel like that would just work way better um, because a lot of people don't seem to be all that picky with uh, tracks in this game. Most tracks in this game are very well balanced. So if people could just vote for four tracks they want to do, I think that'd be great. Oh my gosh. That stunk. <laughs> Somebody was really trying to be devious with that one. This is not good. It's also the really hard to deal with. Oh, and I hit you there. I'm sorry. But it had to be that way. What? It's two times? Okay, now the game's got something against me. That was bully. I had definitely enough speed to at least make it. Now I get stuck in the corner and then fall to my doom. Extra slow than if I just fell, because with that, I would've just gone straight down. With that, I had a little bit of extra hang time. Jeez, come on. That is not good. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Okay, I should've saved this. But you know what? I do at least get blue boost here, and I could, in theory, keep this to go right like this. And I get another one. Whoop. Okay, keep the blue boost. And it went away, why though? I'm drifting, I'm jumping. Somebody's already finished the race here, come on. There's no way I can finish it out on time. But I can at least keep the position I have, so that's the one I finish with, you know? Or maybe, with any luck, catch up. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. I feel like everybody else's rockets do such a good time, or such a good job catching up to the opponents, but mine always goes straight into the wall. I don't know what the deal is with that. But yep, it just goes straight into the wall every time. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but fifth place twice in a row, that really, that just hurts. Anyways, we got some good nitro there, we have a 55% bonus, so yeah, things are going all right with that. So we're finishing it up with another long track, tiny arena. Let's hope this one goes well. Because this is one of those ones where if you don't get ahead, it's just hard to keep up because it's just drifting the whole time. There's no blue boost at all. There we go. Oh no, oh no. And that's what I'm talking about, that's a problem. Unless we get like a lot of Aku Akus and just get very lucky, now the chances are low that we're gonna get caught up. I gotta at least get in the top three. That's what I want. Oh, okay, let's see how this goes. Eh, all right. I swear that at one point this item gave blue boost. It doesn't anymore, but when it first was introduced, because it was not in the original, at least in a race, it would it would happen in uh, battle mode. Okay. We're doing all right so far. Okay, got a rocket, it actually might work this time. I feel bad because they already had the TNT on their heads as if things weren't wor working out for them already. Oh man, oh man, that was a little awkward, but we're in third place, I've been fighting my way back up to the top. If we could just redo what we did for that Spyro race, that'd be so good. Oh man, 
I don't know if that's gonna happen though. Right now though, I gotta keep my cool. Oh, but that always happens to me. This is supposed to be the drifting car too, or the drifting stats. Oh gosh, they're trying to get ahead of me here. Can't let that happen. There we go. You actually don't wanna jump off of that if you wanna get uh, the item. Because if you jump off of it with enough speed, you just go right over it, and that's not what we want. Okay, come on. No, come on. Really? Got it. Oh, here we go. Uh, I mean, wait, how did that hit you, but not actually slow you down? That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Because I am out of a, of a shield, but you don't get any penalty. That's baloney. I hope you know. Okay, you know what? If we don't get the top three, honestly, I'm not blaming myself because the game clearly has something out for me here. Because the first race was great, but then everything after that, it's like I, I made some kind of sacrifice I wasn't aware of, some kind of trade. Do well this first race, get a cool second place finish, but suffer for the rest of the episode. Because there has just been some situations going on that have just been not up to me. Oh, and I keep messing up that turn every single time. It's really getting to me. Oh well. Maybe not the best online performance as Chick, but maybe we can fix it up a little bit next episode with Stu. Get that a little bit. And, whoop. Okay, got a couple more rockets, but you're only helpful if the opponent is in sight and I can't catch up to them if I just grind against the walls the entire time. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw that out. It's not gonna get them, but. Oh, wow, okay. That could help depending on who it hits. Okay, it did hit you. Come on, fourth place. I can taste it. Oh, uh, they've already finished. Okay, rocket, you're not hitting me with that. What, what did my rocket do there? Did it just immediately hit the potion? It must have. Oh, wow, wow, we both just weaved right around. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, give me something good or nothing at all. Thanks, game, fifth place it is. That was three fifth places in a row. It's just like the game wants me to be there. There's nothing I could do about it. I mean, I could have raced better, of course, but man, is that frustrating. Because I feel like there are times where I was racing all right and the game just smacks you down. Oh well. 275 coins, not too bad. And we're gonna head back to the pit stop to see if there's anything new. This is being recorded right after the previous episode, so probably not, but we might as well check. So, taking a look at the pit stop, do we have anything new? Actually, there is some new stuff. I guess it does, oh, maybe it just refreshed. Oh, it did, good timing. We got the sweet elf bundle for Coco. That is adorable. I don't have enough Wumpa fruit, though. I don't Wumpa coins. Oh, I'm tempted to get more because I don't want this stuff to go away. I mean, the only thing we don't have here is the elf Coco. We have everything else. She is so adorable. Okay, well, maybe I'll consider getting this stuff between episodes. I also don't have, I can get the King Jelly right now. Let's go ahead and get that King Jelly sticker. Um, Cause I'm gonna need more for the next Grand Prix anyways. The Sunday Blast decal, a thousand coins. Might as well get it. There we go. And is there anything else? Oh, there's another Candy Cane decal. I can't quite get it. <laughs> that is for this really weird unicorn car, by the way. Uh, I'm guessing this is, I think this is a Grand Prix reward. Don't know if I'll be able to reach it, but I'll try my best. We also, we don't have this, do we? No, we do have the Reindeer Crash, but we don't have the Nitro Slay, the Nitro Slay Red. So some interesting stuff I definitely wanna get, so we'll definitely try to get those next episode. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.